So this was a really big painting that I painted for my solo show last year at a gallery called Threda in Denver. For it, I went through the process of first doing a drawing, projecting that drawing onto a canvas with acrylics, then using spray paints over those acrylics to add color, then using oils on top of that to add the bright luminosity. With these three different mediums interacting, there is a different level of richness to the colors. I knew this one was gonna be a huge project, so it was wiser to go into it with a really set out plan. For that reason, I decided to work out all the tonality of the drawing and I kind of came into it with a general color scheme in mind. I'm going to put this drawing into the computer, project it onto the wall, and then use acrylics to paint the drawing onto the wall. I'm using a burnt umber light to put in most of my design, but I've also done a giant glaze of transparent iron oxide over the whole piece. And the reason for this is because I want it to have a golden underglow to the canvas. At this point, I'm not focusing so much on the details, but I'm trying to get the overall tonality of the canvas worked out. They call this the value pattern. It's deciding which areas are gonna be light and which areas are gonna be more dark. Once I have this aspect of the underpainting worked out, then I can start glazing more colors into it. I went in there with a grip of semi-transparent MTN 94s and I am using this hazelnut brown color to make some really cool cloudy textures off in the distance in the sky. At this point, I felt like the canvas was getting a lot of warm golden and brown colors in there, and I wanted to contrast that with a light teal blue. I really thought that that teal and that light blue were going to be the poppin' choice that completes the color scheme. I'm using a big brush to glaze the back side of this figure. I want kind of a soft light on him, so I'm just using a pretty soft house painting brush and fanning the color out with some glaze. At this point, I start transitioning into using oil paints. And I'm not using any medium for the oils at this current point. I'm actually just taking this deep, rich oil painting color 
and dry brushing it, which means I'm using a relatively big bristle brush and I'm fanning out the color, stretching it as far as it can go. I'm using a light yellow oil paint with a little bit of linseed oil in for these highlights and that's really what helps them pop off of the canvas. Now this painting was quite the banger. It sold immediately before I even put it on the market and people really seem to love it. I truly believe if you take that extra mile to put it into your work and make something truly amazing, that people are gonna resonate with it and appreciate it. These kind of paintings are the ones that drive your career forward and get you the attention that you deserve to continue on as an artist. I had a fun time making this painting. If you liked it, click the like and subscribe button, and if you'd like to watch more of the process, the link is in the comments underneath. Peace, guys.